What's going on everyone, John here. And in this video, I just wanna talk about proxies for a few minutes, because I get this question at least typically once a day, if at the very least once or twice a week, what are the best proxies to avoid getting banned on Facebook? So let's dive into this. I've had a lot of experience testing to see what does and doesn't work, and I wanna share that with you. Okay, so let's talk about what proxies work best. Now you're gonna get a lot of conflicting information around this. There's a lot of theory of what in what, what should work best considering everything that Facebook is typically looking for and the data it's collecting. I'm just telling you this after using hundreds, if not thousands of profiles, the trend I see and the difference between the different types of proxies. I've tested pretty much everything extensively except mobile proxies. That's the one I haven't really gone super deep on with the test. Now, the one I do recommend, the one I have been using and the one I've been talking about for the last two plus years is my private proxy. These are absolutely data center proxies uh, and they're great. They work perfectly fine from my experience. They don't cause any triggers abnormal to what you'll find by using ro res uh, rotating residential or dedicated residential or dedicated data center. Um, basically what I do is I do private proxies and then like I have a hundred pack because we typically have anywhere from 70 to hundred profiles loaded up at once. And I would just go here, get started. And then uh, you would pick your month price and you always want to obviously choose Facebook and your location. Now, something to know with location, I've talked with the, I've talked a lot about this as well. I've mainly been using Asian profiles from Philippines, from Vietnam, and I'm using those with US proxies and it doesn't seem to make any kind of a difference. Okay, I've tested using Filipino residential proxies with Filipino accounts and there's no, no difference from what I've seen. So typically what, what should technically be the highest quality proxies, rotating residential, right? But it doesn't seem to make a difference. And once again, there's probably an argument to be made that mobile proxies are the best because uh, think about it this way, if, if Facebook were to block the, the, the IP address, of the cell tower, right? That would cut off hundreds, if not thousands of Facebook users. So it just doesn't make sense. Um, and that's that's the theory behind mobile being the best, right? So if we go to bright data and, and forgive me real quick too, if I'm not a hundred percent technically sound on this, I'm not an IT guy. I'm just a guy that knows how to market on Facebook and I've problem solved this stuff through just pure effort, will, and volume, okay? So just full disclosure, if I say something politically incorrect when it comes to the technical side. Now, Bright Data is, is a great choice. You can get everything you want here. Uh, residential, data center, you could also rent mobile as well, uh, but it gets expensive. That's the thing is you're gonna be paying by the gigabyte for this. So that's cool if it helps, right? Paying a higher, a higher cost, it, but getting more value with it usually makes sense for most things in life. But if I get the same benefit of paying a flat rate, a limited data, data center proxy uh, that works in the same way with the same benefits without anything abnormal that we see, well, then by all means, I'm going to do this. I'm going to spend, you know, 180 bucks for 50 proxies, 165 bucks for 100 proxies a month. And that's it. I don't pay anything extra. Uh, it's not always about saving money and being being as cheap as possible. That's not necessarily the goal here. It's just why am I going to pay more if, I, if it doesn't actually add any value, right? That's the way I look at this. So if we look at the proxies here, you can obviously get residential, you can get data center, you get mobile as well. So if you choose to go the residential route, by all means, go for it or mobile, which, which once again, I haven't tested a lot, so I, I can't speak to it, but data center does the job for me. I don't see anything abnormal that I don't hear from people because we have, I have conversations with people every day new that uh, are having issues for the first time or they're like getting stuck further down the road, whether it's my own clients or just people reaching out. And something I must say is I don't see anything happening different as far as random ban shutdowns restrictions with data center US proxy using Filipino or Vietnamese profiles 
that the conversations I have with people using their own real account on their own computer that's connected to their own mobile mobile device that is still getting restricted because Facebook is is broken, right? I'm seeing the same thing, the same patterns happen. Obviously, there's ways to reduce this. There's best practices, there's strategies, there's tactics. There are always going to be hacks and loopholes in the system. This is what we talk about. Make sure to join the free Discord below this video if you haven't already. Okay. And obviously you can learn how you can be join our inner circle, become one of the VIPs. And that's why I share all of our strategies, hacks, and tricks more in depth. But we talk about these things in my free discord as well. So just real quick plug, make sure you join now. So here's the thing. You can make the investment into paying by the gigabyte. It does get kind of, it can get pretty expensive, especially if you're operating a scale, you have a bigger team, right? So if we go to residential, should have the pricing here somewhere. I think it's like, there's ways to to get your cost down, right? So like if you if you're on the two thousand dollar a month plan, you're only paying nine dollars and seventy five cents a gig. Where if you're just on like a open top up with no recurring, it's obviously going to be more expensive per gigabyte. But I can tell you, you will burn through this pretty fast. I've used Oxy Labs; they're great too. I think it's a little bit cheaper. Um, I've tried other ones as well. I'll, I could maybe put together a list underneath this, but generally speaking, if you're going to go with data center, just go with my private proxy. I'll include a link below this video if you want to sign up and just get 10, 20, 50 proxies, whatever you need. Uh, I'll use proxies sometimes two to three profiles max. I don't like to use more than that because what I found on the on the actual side of using profiles on your own computer is that Facebook will typically be okay with two, maybe three profiles per device. Once you get like five accounts on one device, that's when you start usually running into issues. So so my private proxy works awesome. I'll include the link in the description. If you want to check out Bright Data, you could obviously do this as well. Go with the test a residential, have it match your profile's location if you want, up to you. Um, and then maybe you can go mobile and see if you have any any issues. But like my, my buddies in multi-login got, these guys are super sharp. I highly recommend this. I've been using their software for years now. Um, they do recommend if you dig into like their articles and stuff, they're, they're going to rec recommend best practices with bright data. Once again, I don't think it's going to hurt you. It's just going to cost you more. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my two cents on that, uh, from lots of experience doing this also make sure to check out their uh, their YouTube because they have some really interesting, they, they were at Barcelona affiliate world. Fortunately, I didn't get a go. Uh, I, I was pretty tied up, but I'll see, I'll be at Bangkok for anyone that's going to be in Bangkok. And they did a bunch of interviews with people that I found there's one with me. Um, but they interviewed a lot of high level, high spend affiliate marketers, e-commerce guys and gals, that are having issues with Facebook that are continuing to run on Facebook and creating so unique custom solutions from the patterns and trends they see using multi-login. So you'll hear conflicting and contradicting arguments from what I'm saying, but if it's working for someone else, more power to them. Um, I'm not an IT guy. I'm just a guy that has really committed to figuring this stuff out through sheer will and uh, willpower and, and practice, right? But I would strongly recommend you watch all their interviews. Hit these guys up; they're super helpful. Um, I've been just a big fan of them for since uh, since I started having issues back in 2020 myself. So make sure to check this out. Uh, but that's my two cents on proxies. Doesn't need to match the location of the profile. I don't believe it makes any kind of difference. But that's just from my personal experience. Um, so that's my two cents. Save yourself the money. Go with data center, just like I did with mobile, with my private proxy. Um, and then with, with, if you want to, if you want to make the investment and like match your city location to the profile location and like go that extra mile and see if data or sorry, residential, or if mobile makes a difference, then by all means, this is what you want to do. Oxy labs, or you can go bright data. Now, two things I want to leave you with, uh, one is if you're having issues verifying, like let's say you have a Filipino account and a US data center and a US credit card, and you're trying to add the card 
to the ad account with that Filipino account, if it's American Express, you'll almost always have an issue. But even if it's Visa, MasterCard, you're sometimes going to have an issue. The, the thing we found is if you just update the city and the where I'm from, like what city I was born in, what city I reside in on the profile to match the country or ideally the city of your billing of your credit card. And then with that profile, you add the credit card that typically works. So if you're having that issue, that'll at least give you the option to verify the card or if not just to prove it straight away. If you don't do that, what we're almost always seeing with Amex is that it said it's unable to verify and there's no solution from there. Or with Visa and MasterCard, it's saying verify your card, but there's no option, right? So this is a solution. Just want to share that real quick since we're on the topic of like country, geolocation, mismatches, everything. And until the next video, make sure to join our Discord below this. If you want to get up and running again on Facebook after you've been shut down, banned, or restricted, check out our free guide below this uh, Facebook bulletproof uh, formula. Let's go and click the link below this video and I'll see you in the next one. If you got something from this, make sure to like, share, drop a comment. I always answer the comments and subscribe as always.